Welcome to Deep Thought, being a change agent. Now, I might have talked about this before, and I've done so many videos, And but y'all know me. Y'all know me. When spirit moved me to talk about something, I could talk about it one day. I could talk about it on a Tuesday, and then the next Tuesday, I talk about it again in a different level. And I was just thinking about that, and um, I'll get into... Uh, I'll get into it while I'm thinking about uh, the whole change agent uh, thing in the next episode. But now, just being a change agent in general, what is a change agent? That's a person who, just by their very presence, changes the people around them. And by changing the people, they change the circumstances. Because despite all the technology, despite the weather, despite the politics, economics, everything comes down to relationships, how people interact with each other. We're all connected. Uh, action by someone in a small town in South Africa could have an effect on someone in Tokyo, Japan. That's how our relationships are. They always say there's only a few degrees of separation between us and you know a particular person and someone else. We're touching each other. Where every time somebody interacts, that affects that person. But then that person goes out and interacts with somebody else. That affects that person. We're all being touched. Our own behaviors are always being affected by somebody else, no matter how independent we think we are. You know, if, you know, if I go outside, you know, jump in my car, go someplace... But someone right in front of me breaks their car, breaks down, that's going to slow me down from getting where I'm at. Or if I see they get in an accident or bad accident, that affects me. Or if I'm just out and about walking and someone just decides to, uh, hey, strike up a conversation with me, that still has an effect on me. You know, and it might be nothing, but what if it's a young lady who was feeling down, she thought I was attractive. And, you know, we talk, and I say, oh, yeah, you got nice hair and everything. That makes her feel a certain way. That affects her. But then when she goes out and interacts with other men, she's not in a grumpy mood. She's feeling good. She could actually meet her soulmate. See how that works? See how that works? It, it could be little things. Now, a change agent, now, we all doing it no matter who we are, but I would, a change agent is someone who does this on a large scale just by who they are. Now, some of the ones are obvious. Some of the change agents are always obvious. These are the activists who are really working to do something. These are maybe uh, businessmen or women who, um, you know, they use their, their position to not only uh, provide jobs, but to make positive change in the communities in which they're located. It's, it's like uh, a gentleman I know who's in Richmond. I don't know if he wants his name called, but he, does, he, he specializes in urban farming. So think about urban farming. That's a change agent. He's providing great food for people in an inner city environment. That's a powerful thing. That's a change agent. They change in the course of how things are going. They're very important. Now, check it out. That change agent doesn't have to be that change agent doesn't have to be an activist or a business person, a celebrity or an influencer. They could be, they could be a, just a good mother. It could be a good mother who supports her husband and raises her children well. And I've told a story about this uh, woman before. She, I mean, she was she was short of stature. She might have been five feet tall at the best. And you know, she was, had a beautiful spirit, but people wouldn't call her like you know, an IG model or anything. And she wasn't, you know, super educated or anything like that. She worked as an office clerk at this up um, when I was in the government. She was, a, she was a regular clerk. Only thing she had, if you think it, she did have to have security clearance. But that was about it. But she was very humble, very quiet. But she was a change agent. And people would say, well, how is she a change agent? She, she's not in that important position. Because she supported her husband, which allowed him to do things, but she raised her children well. I had mentioned her before. This diminutive woman, this soft-spoken woman, was being a great mother. She told, she told me about an instance where the school principal wanted to talk to her. 
And she was concerned at first because she was like, well, these kids are good. No, the school principal wanted to congratulate her because her son was doing so well. Her children would grow up. Because I ran into her like a few years later. Her children would grow up to do great things. Educated. That's change. And then they in turn, they in turn will touch other people. You could you could trace maybe movements, maybe ideas down to a single person, but that person might be in a uh, position where they don't touch anybody. Like, uh, you know, people don't know him. Like, I knew this guy, and this was when I was at American University. And... He was just he was just a worker at American University who, you know, he would uh, use that position to take some classes. And he was somebody I would call a mentor. Just by his presence, just by his presence, how he carried himself, uh, he had an effect on other people. Like he, one, th- one of the things he did for a job was like being a cab driver. Now, he said he was driving his cab one day, and a guy got in, a young guy got in and was about to rob him. Had a gun to his head, about to rob him. He told me, and this, he, he told me this, and he wasn't the type to embellish stories. He was a very straightforward guy. He was a real man. He said, he said, do you hate yourself so much you would do this? And he started talking to that young man. And that young man put his gun away and changed probably, he don't know what happened to that young man, but that probably changed that young man's life. That's being, because that young man, he said that young man actually teared up. And he said, nobody's ever talked to me like this. I had a situation like that, and I've, I've mentioned this before, where I talked to this young man who was a true to the game thug, and he teared up because, and I was just talking, I wasn't even telling him about life. I was just telling him how he was dealing with a particular woman. And he said he actually teared up. He was like, nobody's ever talked to him like that. His father wasn't in his life. That's a change agent. Now, some people, of course, they can affect it on large scale. Sometimes you can be a change agent and affect people on a smaller scale. But that's still, you don't know what the finality, uh, finale of that would be. You don't know where that man or woman is going to go. You might just you might just say something to somebody and you don't know. Like, I'll give you another example. I remember I've told people before I used to have a, a flea market. I used to have a, a book stand at this flea market. And, you know, I would have different um, authors. I would have a few authors come in. They could sign their books, talk to people. I had one author come in. And he was a motivational speaker anyway. But at the same time, um, it was a young man, a troubled young man who was the son of one of my fellow vendors. And he would come and hang out with me. Sometimes he would just come by my table and just stand there. After a while, I put him to work. He would just stand there sometimes. He always liked being around me. All right, so I had this book signing. I had this guy come in for a book signing. And the young man spoke. He said, hey, how you doing? And, you know, this young man had a deep voice. And the uh, author that was doing the book signing looked at him and said, you know, with that voice, you should be in radio. And he just, that simple thing. That's all he said. He'd talk to him. He'd have a long conversation. He'd give him stories. He just said, you should be in radio. Just like that. What happened is that young man, and this is one person I still need to look up. I've looked him up occasionally, but he, had, he actually has a common enough name. It's hard to find him. I had to put in certain things. This young man, all of a sudden, the next week, he talked to me and said, Ron, I signed up for this broadcasting school. And he would give me a weekly report. He would understand. He would give me a weekly report of what he was doing in school, what he was working on and everything. Once he finished that school, he was able to work at a major Washington, D.C. radio station. I still have to find. He's got to be somewhere. He's got to be somewhere. But... His life was changed just by someone else saying a brief sentence to him. Just a brief sentence. That's what being a change agent is. Now, every single person is potentially a change agent. Every single person in a positive way. When I say being a change agent, because, yes, all our lives affect someone else, but I'm saying someone who's doing something that creates a bigger change in the world. So I want y'all to think about that and get more into it tomorrow. Peace and blessings.